Young people living in fear as undocumented citizens may feel a little more hopeful today. Nine News reporter Brandy Smith is live in the newsroom now with the story of what is possible now for certain illegal immigrants living in our area. Brandy? Carol, young people who came to the United States illegally before their 16th birthday and were under 31 years old as of June 15th of this year can apply for deferred action, which could allow them to stay in the country for two years. The application process started yesterday, and I spoke with a young lady who sees this as a great opportunity. Over the past two days, thousands of people have lined up across the country seeking information about how to apply for deferred action, which would allow undocumented young people two years to pursue their education and careers in this country without fear of deportation. Ilet Cruz from Sharonville is also in the process of applying. That's like the start of a future for me, and it makes my family happy. And it, it feels really good to know that we're going to have an opportunity to not to be afraid and to keep studying like what we like and it's it's really exciting for me. Ilet came to this country eight years ago from Mexico. She works with Sister Mary Wendelin, an advocate with the undocumented for over 30 years. The Mexican community has never been granted any kind of relief. So this is the first time the Mexican community is able to get some kind of relief and some kind of status. Here's what Sister Mary says you should do first if you're considering applying. Get their documents all in order if they qualify within that time limit. Okay. They need to get their documents in order, their passports in order their birth certificates, proof that they've been here for five consecutive years. Sister Mary says this is historic, but temporary and not an immediate path to citizenship. Even though it's temporarily, it's like, it's a hope for us that maybe after t those two years, we will probably have another opportunity to like renew it and keep, um, keep doing like something for like this country. Eilid says she looks forward to continuing to pursue her education at Princeton High School and Scarlet Oaks where she'll study cosmetology. If granted deferred action, Eilid also looks forward to getting her driver's license. For more information on how to apply, go to WCPO.com. Brendan? All Carol. right, Brandy, thank you. And actually, just keep in mind, not everyone likes this idea. Arizona Governor Jan Brewer ordered state agencies there to deny driver's licenses and other public benefits to people who qualify for deferred action. She calls it backdoor amnesty.